Let's balance the chemical equation C3H8 plus O2. This is propane and this is oxygen gas. We'll also look at the type of reaction and the states of matter. Let's start with the type of reaction. We have a carbon and hydrogen. This is a hydrocarbon here. And then we have oxygen gas. So these two are reacting and the products are carbon dioxide and water. So when you see these things here, this is a combustion reaction. That's the type of reaction. To balance the equation, let's count the atoms up on each side. That'll look like this. The thing really to be careful with here is we have two oxygens here and the one here in water. So we end up with three oxygens on the product side. It's always a good idea to leave the oxygen to last when you're balancing combustion reactions. So let's start with the carbon. We'll put a three here, one times three. That gives us three. We need to update the oxygens. Three times two is six, plus the one here in water. That gives us seven. Let's just do the hydrogens. Could put a four here with the water. Two times four. That'll give us eight, but we need to update the oxygens again. Now we have three times two, that's six, plus four times one. That gives us a total of 10. And remember, we left the oxygen to last to balance. And that's because if we just put a five here in front of the O2, it won't affect the carbons or hydrogens. Two times five, that gives us 10. And we're done. This equation is balanced. If you wanted to write the states, that would look like this. Propane under normal conditions, that's a gas. We have oxygen gas, carbon dioxide gas, and water, because this is combustion, it's a combustion reaction, it's going to be exothermic, it's going to be hot, water would be a gas, at least initially. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation and type of reaction for C3H8 plus O2, propane plus oxygen gas. Thanks for watching.